at the Dev Day talk a few days ago, the OpenAI Dev Day, at one point they pulled up a screen. It's a very strange screen. It had lots of names on it. It was almost like showing Patreon supporters. These are the people who support us. And it was that in a way. It was showing the to the people who had processed the most amount of tokens on OpenAI. So the heaviest users of OpenAI's API using GPT models. And there's a long list of names and they weren't necessarily recognizable. So at the top is Isaac Anderson, Alex Atala, Chris Colon, John Emmons, Hojak Gill, etc. So somebody took all those names and researched who they worked for and then used that to work out what companies were using OpenAI the most. Isaac Anderson, for example, he is a senior software engineer at Duolingo. So Duolingo are, according to this, one of the top users of OpenAI's API. They're going hard into using ChatGPT. So you can use AI to talk with Duolingo. Open Router, Indeed.com, Salesforce, CodeRabbit, iSolutions, Tiger Analytics, Ramp, Abridge, Side AI Dev, Shopify at number 13. Interesting. Then followed by Notion. So it's powering Notion under the Hood, HubSpot, etc., etc., and it goes on like this. Canva are 25th. Very interesting. So, the highest use, if this is in order, we're not sure. Actually, it's not in order because that is alphabetical. It's broken down by 1 trillion tokens, 100 billion tokens, and 10 billion tokens. So, number one is not actually Duolingo. Whoever's put together this graphic is wrong here. That's not what's going on here. It's all of the people in the 1 trillion then alphabetized and all of the people in the 100 billion then alphabetized so they've got it slightly wrong here but it looks like Duolingo, Salesforce, Shopify, Notion, Whoop are some of the largest customers of ChatGPT. I'm not sure if this is exactly what OpenAI wanted to reveal but I think it's relatively interesting so this data you will see circulating at the moment but if anyone does say to you oh Duolingo are the top customer of OpenAI that is not true. It's just one software engineer, Isaac Anderson, is using a huge amount at Duolingo, but he is not actually the number one. He just happens to have a surname beginning with an A, so be careful.